Hey Sagittarius, it's Goddess Puff and welcome to your reading. All right, let's get started with an oracle card message for Sagittarius. What is going on with my Sagittarians at this very moment in time? Dang. <laughs> what does Sagittarius need to know? Let me give y'all one good shuffle for Sagittarius. All right, let's see. Dang, okay. What was I doing? Oh, not me forgetting. He's <laughs> forgetting how to cut the deck. All right, we have 38 villain. You can always rewrite the story. So either you were the villain in someone's story or you painted someone as the villain. And not to say that, they, that you weren't correct, but I feel like, cause this could go for one or two ways. This card I've learned either you thought someone completely destroyed your dreams or your song or whatever but somehow some way that's been revitalized in you so maybe as a kid you wanted to be a singer dancer writer but someone told you you couldn't that dream is being um re brought back to life now for those of you you felt like you were the villain in someone else's story but it's being changed regardless of what it is you are rewriting the story now of this villain arc all right, we have 32 and um, feel free to break down the numbers, 38, 32. We have escapist, come home to yourself. I love this so much, you're gonna make me cry. Okay, so there was a dream that was um, destroyed for you, whether it's when you were a kid or a teen or a young adult or even a few weeks or months ago, a dream of yours was destroyed by either you or um, some negative self-talk you learned or by someone else, but now, you feel safe enough to reinvest in that story again. And maybe even you changed, you cut your hair or dyed it or changed your whole look because someone destroyed that. But now it's back and I, I yes, eight wings. You never needed those wings to fly. So you thought someone quote unquote grounding you was actually more realistic in a job sense. But now you realize that you cut that person or thing out of your life, that you can fly again, you can chase your dreams again, you can be imaginative again. Because I feel like you're a dreamer, you're very creative, very imaginative, and someone destroyed that. And you adapted their negative self-talk and you repeated their words to you, to yourself. But of course, since this is a real dream and desire of yours, it was eventually going to come back up. And now that you cut out that person, place, or thing, you're free. It's come back up and you can, you, you're free again to um, soar and chase your dreams. I feel like you thought you needed this person to succeed in some way, shape, or form, whether it's in your dream or just you thought you had to put away your childish dreams, quote unquote, and chase like realistic dreams. But either way, you're not doing that anymore. You're chasing your dreams again. You realize you don't need this person. Over energy is five stars. You can manifest your every wish. Oh my gosh, Sagittarius. This, I, I can already tell this is gonna be a beautiful reading. Very beautiful message, all freaking ready. Someone tried to crush your dreams. I'm gonna write it down before I pull the tarot. Someone tried to crush your dreams, but they regret it or it just didn't work. <laughs> your dream and they failed i'm already getting that they failed especially with the overall ener energy being star you can manifest your every wish that means whatever someone tried to do the villain whether it's you or someone else or you became that villain because of what someone else said regardless well, wings, you never need those wings to fly it's like you cut off those wings you thought you needed and you had realized you had your own in spirit Maybe you wanted to be a flight attendant and someone told you you couldn't. Or you just wanted to work with planes in any type of way. You're realizing that that person was full of shit in some way, shape, or form. I feel like some of y'all are dealing with someone who didn't even chase their own dreams or they failed at their dreams so they want to put everybody else down. Someone failed at their own shit or never chased it so they're not even qualified to give you advice. How are you qualified to give me advice if you never chased your own dreams or you went after something and failed? So now you think you can give me advice? No. 
All right, let's get into the tarot for Sagittarius. I would talk to someone I wanted to be like, like, or yeah, someone similar or something. As close as you can get, I would talk to someone who's living the life I want. Like you would never talk to a single person if you want to know about relationships, right? You would never talk to someone who wants to be single if you want to be married, right? So why would you talk to someone who didn't chase their dreams if you want to chase your dreams? That doesn't make sense. That's just my opinion though. Never talk to someone about chasing your dreams who has not chased theirs or who feels jaded. I would rather talk to a successful one. Just like successful people hang around successful people. Like, if you want to be a model, why would you hang around data analysis? You know, you know what I mean. Analysts. All right, we have the Hierophant Taurus energy. They have it highly aspected in your chart. Six of Wands. So again, if this is um, triple confirmation that whatever you're going after, you are going to succeed. You are getting some type of promotion, whether it be, I feel like it's physically, but it's also, of course, the physical and spiritual go hand in hand. Someone tried to stop you from getting a promotion, but you are going to get it. So if, there, if you're up for a promotion at work, or if there's some type of promotion at work, or if it's not at this job, if you apply to other jobs that pay more or have a higher position, they will give it to you. So say, for instance, you're a sales associate and you want to apply for a manager position. If you can't get it at your job, if you apply for a manager position somewhere else, they, they will give it to you. With the higher form, six of wands, you are up for a promotion. Whether it be at your job or if you apply somewhere else. Yeah, strength, Leo. You just have to have the courage in yourself to do it. You are up for a literal promotion at work. And if it's, if your job doesn't want to give it to you, apply elsewhere. They will give it to you. Or a pay raise, they're going to give it to you elsewhere. Two of Swords, yeah, the only thing stopping you, I'm telling you, and I know you've probably heard it a million times before, but the only thing stopping you from getting this per, uh, promotion or pay raise is you. If your job is refusing to give it to you, apply elsewhere, and I guarantee you, you will get a job that pays you more or gives you a higher position that pays you more. They'll pay you more for the same position or they'll give you a higher position that pays you more. Overall energy is the three of wands, your ship's coming in. And I know this, people are going to watch this and, see, and say this sounds far-fetched because it's a good reading. I've learned in tarot, people believe the bad readings over the good ones, which is insane, right? I'm literally giving you the best possible reading when it comes to career. And people are going to be like, that'll never happen for me because they're typing, that'll never happen for me. And they get mad when I talk about the good readings, but they get mad also when I talk about the bad readings. It's like, what do you want? <laughs> like someone here is literally getting a promotion. But every time I do a reading about promotions, people complain like that's never going to happen for them. Like it's because of you're stopping yourself. Two of Swords is right above or over wings. You never needed those wings to fly. This is about self-belief. It's also the number eight. This is literally about self-belief. The Two of Swords is about the mind, your own eyesight. Look at the card, swords in the eyes, your own eyesight, your own beliefs. If you think you can't, then you can. Clarify this message for Sagittarius. Oh my gosh, clarify this message. I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe it is my nails that's stopping me from shuffling. Let me, let me try something. Oh, yeah. So I have to shuffle in the air. I can't shuffle on the table. I got to go like this. With these nails. <laughs> All right, let me give you one more shuffle. Yeah, I got to go like this. For it to work. <laughs> so my nails are pointy. All right, clarifying the higher font. Okay, I grabbed both of them. We have the nine of pentacles. Single, solid, stable, abundant, financially independent, looking good, smelling good, feeling good. The Beyonce card, the world, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. So I'm getting here. You're getting a promotion, like I said. And it says, um, someone tried to tell you you weren't going to get it and not to apply for it. Please apply for that promotion. For some of you, the time may have already passed. No one convinced you not to do it, but it's going to come up again. Or you can apply for another job or you can do something about it. But I'm getting here that someone told you not to apply or you wouldn't get it. 
someone talked you out of getting a promotion, but it's yours. Nine of Pentacles, the world card. For others of you, it's another, it's like starting your own business. Someone told you not to do that. You have the means to do so, or you will if you do this. That you're going to get a promotion. You're going to start your own business. You have the means and you have the experience. You have the intelligence. You have everything you need. And I feel like once you get this promotion, there's no going back. That's why someone wants to stop you. That's why someone wants to stop you. Because once you get it, the world card clarifying the higher font, nine of pentacles, there is no going back. Once you get that financial independence, there is no going back. These people can't talk to you and treat you and manipulate you and do you how they used to. That's why they're afraid. Clarifying the six of wands is the ace of wands. A new stable beginning in abundance. And the ten of cups. I literally got um, ten of cups. It was right here though. You may want to watch the Leo reading, but put it where it goes for you. Yeah, you getting the Six of Wands, victory, success, praise, public acknowledgement with that Ace of Wands and Ten of Cups. You're meant, if you recently got a promotion or you're up for a promotion or you know you're applying, you're about to get one, that's where you're meant to be. This pay raise, this financial independence, whatever this is about to put you in the Nine of Pentacles, whatever is about to put you in the Nine of Pentacles, it's what you're meant to be doing at this time so right now a please apply for a higher paying jobs and positions or more jobs or whatever that is what you're meant to be doing right now so if you're in a position right now that's paying you more than you've ever been paid before and it's new you're meant to be doing it clarifying the strength card is the magician this is gemini virgo energy yeah you have the strength to manifest this the Ace of Cups. I feel like this is a new um, aspiration for you. Something that you actually love doing. This is brand new for you. All right, clarifying the Two of Swords. It's the Two of Wands. Yep, it's, you always have a choice. Always. Three of Pentacles. And it ends up working out for you. Because you're like, I could stay with something that I've been working on for 10 years. Something that I'm safe. Or like, um, it's either a company or a profession or person, I'm seeing it as work, but it could be love. It's a person, place, or thing, or type that I'm used to. I could stay with that and be safe, or I could branch out to more. If you decide to branch out to more, you're gonna get it, Three of Pentacles. It's gonna work out for you, Six of Wands. If you decide, I want the Nine of Pentacles, I want more, I want the higher fund, I want a higher commitment, I want more pay, I want a, I want a relationship, I want monogamy, or I want commitment, or whatever it is. If you decide to strive for more, whether it's with the current company you keep for someone new, you're going to get it. Three of Wands, overall energy, and overall energy is the Six of Cups. So it's to do with the past in the repetition. So it could be with someone of your past. So you can decide, are you going to repeat the past? Or are you going to start something new with someone from your past or with someone new entirely? Because you can get with someone new and still repeat the exact same thing from your past. It's all about you setting boundaries about, oh, I want this. This is what I want. Something new. Something to, I want financial independence. I want the Ten of Cups. I want the Ace of Cups. I want this. I want things to work out for me. I want a new position, new job, new career, new this. And whether it's a new person or someone from your past, if they can't flow with it, if they can't give you that, move them out the way. Because there is clearly someone here who wants to give you that. Ace of Wands and Ace of Cups with the Ten of Cups. There's someone clearly here in your life right now who wants to give you what you want. Or like a job, family, friend, work, love. They want to give you what you want. And if the person that's in front of you right now is not giving you that, remove them or you'll be repeating that. Remove them, because the universe wants to give you this. They, I mean, you have the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. It's your overall energy. Like, come on. The universe clearly wants to give you that. And then you have this card here, stars. You can manifest your every wish. And then the sun comes out when I say that. I love that the sun came out when I say that. You can literally have what you want. It's, it's literally in your hands, literally. All right, I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.